Hello everyone, Mike here, and today we're taking a look at another Doki Doki Literature Club mod. Uh, this one technically is three videos that I've compressed into one, because uh, they all fit together. Uh, these are the girls from the, the club becoming superheroes. This immediately drew me in because, you know, I, I love comic book, you know, heroes and such. I am very intrigued to see what they're gonna do with this. So let's get in here and take a look and see what the Tokyo Literature Club girls have in store for us. All right, play. Monica couldn't believe it. The weather had been perfectly normal just a few seconds ago, and then out of nowhere, the rain began pouring down heavily. Isn't that always the way? Lightning crept and arced across the sky. Funnily enough, Monica had had a dream much like this a while ago, but in the dream, she'd had cat ears and a tail. Pretty weird. I think this is a reference to another one of the videos. Just as she hurried across the bridge, though, a bolt of lightning managed to strike her and the world went black. Monica saw that she woke up at the park she'd been in earlier, but then saw that it was sunny out, and somehow she's magically got a costume on. Uh, not only that, she had a weird uniform on all of a sudden. Exactly! More importantly, though, she saw that the world had somehow gotten slower around her. She could even see the individual wing beats of the bees as they flew around. You've become part of the Speed Force. Somehow her mind could process everything faster as well. Turned out that the lightning bolts had granted her superpowers and a cool new outfit. Was that nice of the lightning to give her an outfit? And that is how the legend of Phi Speed began, when Monica realized that she had used her superpowers for good. When did Monica ever decide to use powers for good? She would use her legendary speed and thick thighs to ward off all kinds of criminals and evil beings the world over. Okay, Monica was chilling in her room when someone knocked on her door. This is the second video. I like how she's using the glasses. Monica opened the door and saw that it was Yuri. Oh, hi, Yuri. I thought you were going with Sayuri and Natsuki to the baking contest in the mall. Um, the thing is that Natsuki and I, we sort of got into a fight. They do that. A lot. I sort of stormed off. Well, that's too bad, I guess. So I was kind of wondering if we could hang out together. You're, if you're not too busy, that is. I'm getting tagged along with the others because she had superhero duties. A military truck carrying some sort of valuable military prototype had been stolen. Yeah, that... That's how it usually works. No time for uh, regular life. She was planning to turn to thigh speed, and had told the other girls she had some business at home to attend to. The other girls had gone straight to the mall after the club was over, but Monica had gone home. But going to look for supervillains would be difficult when Yuri was over by her house. Can't you, like, look, go back, and look, go back, to I mean, your super speed and all that. As of now, no one knew that Monica was really thigh speed, and Monica wanted it to stay that way. The thing was, Monica didn't feel like she could say no to Yuri staying over. Oh, yeah, sure, come on in. Can't believe Yuri would say something like that. What a jerk! I'm sorry to say this, but you did kind of sort of start it. Hey, whose side are you on? I'm always on your side, Natsuki. No one's. I just want us to get along. Let's just forget about it and focus on setting up your stall. Uh, sorry. Why didn't I try suddenly have an extra cupcake? 
I would have figured it would have had maybe a, one less. Huh? It had 12 cupcakes on it before. Now it has 13. Where did the one with the green frosting come from? Huh? I don't know. Natsuki inspected the foreign cupcake, sniffed it, and then took a small bite. That's dangerous. Don't just, you know, eat things that you just find. Are you sure you should be eating it if you don't know where it's from? Exactly. That's right, Sayori. You tell her. Blech! It tasted awful! Well, yeah. Natsuki didn't know this. Cupcakes were made with radioactive dough, which had been stolen from the very military truck Monica had been investigating. Radioactive dough. Well, okay then. And all used to make one cupcake. Gamma radiation from ingesting the cupcake began to alter her genetic code. Accidental over overdose of gamma cupcakeation. Huh. What if Yuri was the one who did this? Huh? Yuri wouldn't do something like this. She's always getting on my nerves and trying to ruin things for me. I'm just so mad whenever I think about Yuri. And with that, Natsuki's body began to transform. <laughs> what? What happened to you, Natsuki? Yuri! I'm gonna get you, Yuri! With that, Buffsky stomped off right out of the ball. Buffsky smash! Uh, they will probably have that in there somewhere. So yeah, come on in, Yuri. Just then, Monica's super sense of hearing picked up the... Wait, but what? When did she get a super sense of hearing? What does that have to do with super speed? Huh? There's something big coming this way. Huh. What? Is that you, Natsuki? Natsuki then grabs Yuri and stops off. Oh no! She's looking for the Empire State Building. Monica's phone began to ring. It was Sayori. Monica! Natsuki ate a weird cupcake, then she transformed into a monster! Yeah, and then she kidnapped Yuri. I saw her. What? What do we do? Uh, just bring the cupcake over to my house and wait for me. I'll be back in a while. I think I know someone who can help. This looks like a job for Thigh Speed. Monica then channeled her inner powers and became Thigh Speed. Her inner rather ambiguous powers. Time to go now. Whoops. I almost forgot to take my glasses off. I wouldn't want someone to discover my secret identity. There. Now that's better. With her super speed, Monica was able to wander around the city very fast and found Natsuki quickly. Makes sense. People were screaming and running away from Natsuki. Bubsky. Ma, someone help! You, Sarah, right dear. There's one other person that deserves a whooping. My dad. I'll grab him and then bring him here. And then I'll punish the two of you for all you did to me. Not so fast. It's my speed. She'll come. She's come to save me. There's nothing you can do to me, Thigh Speed. I'm invisible. I think it's supposed to be invincible. Um. Okay, yeah. I think she means invincible. Okay, I, I was right there. Yeah, whatever. Monica isn't sure about what to do, though. She didn't want to hurt Natsuki, or Bobsky, as she was calling herself now. So for now, she just grabbed Yuri and took her back to Yuri's house. And then she came back, all in the blink of an eye. Fair enough. Ooh, nice music. Now let's really fight! Hey, where's Yuri? You take Yuri away. Buffsky angry. Buffsky smash! Buffsky sent a punch right by Monica, but she dodged it easily. Catch me if you can! Get back here! Buffsky began chasing Monica, and Monica kept taunting her. 
Finally, though, it looked like Bubsky was all puckered out. She began to turn. To turn back into Natsuki. Huh? Where am I? What happened? I don't remember anything. Huh? Is that really you, the legendary hero of high speed? Lose my voice. Yeah, it's me. Come on, you should go over to your friend Monica's house. She told me all about what happened. She'll be over soon and explain what happened. So I called the police and they took away the cupcake. I can only assume that it's something made in it that made Natsuki go ballistic. I'm so sorry! What is Yuri gonna think? Don't worry, Yuri is a very forgiving person. I'm sure she'll forgive you for turning into a huge monster and kidnapping her. I don't know, I mean this is Yuri we're talking about. She I don't know, well, like, maybe, I guess, I don't know. But it makes me wonder, where did that radioactive cupcake come from? I don't know! I didn't see who did it! wonder if it was, it was Yuri. That's good find all the things she would do to that person once she found out who it was. By the way, I didn't know you were friends with Thigh Speed, Monica! Well, I sort of know her, I guess. I wouldn't really say that we're close friends or anything. For now, though, the day was saved by thigh speed. But was Natsuki really all right? Or was it possible that she would transform again? Who was it that stole from the military truck? And was it the same person who put the cupcake in Natsuki's tray? Why am I asking you these questions? To find out, tune in for more episodes of Thigh Speed, the fastest Tokyo Alive! We got our little, our little exit bit there, and then we'll get to the uh, third part of the video. Although I don't know if Yuri would really forgive her or not. I mean, she is kind of a yandere, and on the other hand, though, she also has a tendency to second-guess herself and feel guilty for things, so it's possible. All right. It was a dark night. There was epic music playing. Burglar Coon was getting ready to rob a store. Now that's a, su a super villain name right there. He just managed to get the window to the store open without tripping the alarm when someone called out to him. Stop right there, thief! What is it? Who is that? It's me, Violet Rose, Lady of the Knife. Oh lord, she's gonna kill him. Look. I don't got no money for a hooker right now, but once I'm done cleaning this place, maybe we can get to business. Oh, good lord, she is gonna kill him. Eh? I said Lady of the Night, not Lady of the Night, you pervert. Whatever. Tell you, little girl, unless you're looking for trouble. Nowhere, knives up here. We get floating in a tight circle around the girl. He is going to die. This is not good. I guess you're not one of those people who come quietly. I'll just have to teach you a lesson the hard way. The knives fly Burgle Coon and pin him to the wall. Let that be a lesson to you. Stealing is bad. The knives didn't pierce you, but they held you suspended from the wall and you couldn't really move. Uh, is this the narrator or... Blue Girl wasn't anywhere to be seen. Okay, I guess it is the narrator. That was, that was a little weird. Then in a flash, someone peered, so I am Burglar Coon. Here in front of you, almost out of nowhere. Huh, what happened here? What is the, the this town and scanner clan girls or superhero powers? Huh, what do you mean by that? 
There was another girl who could control knives psychically and she pinned me like this here. I came here to stop a robbery, but it looks like someone got to it before me. So tell me, what did this other girl look like? She looked like a yandere. I don't know. I really wasn't looking at her face, pervert. What do you mean? She had this really nice rat. Oh, I love the stuff stuff to this. Oh, my God. Punch him. Eh? Seriously, punch him in the face. I know what they say. If a guy remembers your eye color after the first time you meet, that means you have small boobs. Punch him! Punch him in the face multiple times. Well, it looks like you're useless if I want any info on her. The villain starts vibrating her hand and use it to smash the glass in the shop, tripping the alarm. Hope that glass wasn't expensive. The police will be here to collect you soon enough. With that, by speed left. Burglar Coon sighed. <sighs> so that was the thigh speed hero I've heard so much about. I'm sure the boys back in the yard would love to hear my story about her. Wait, what was her eye color again? Somebody punch this guy. The next day, Monica was wondering just who this new girl was. Just a few days ago, her friend Natsuki had eaten something bad and turned into a huge monster called Buffski. And now there was this. Just what was going on here? The day passed by and it was time for the club. Hey Monica, is Natsuki still not coming today? No, I think she's still being quarantined. Well, that's ironic, given the time I'm watching this. After news got out that Natsuki transformed into a gamma radiation-induced monster, the nation, the national authorities had practically put her under house arrest and were investigating her. It was due to reasons like this that Monica knew it was important to maintain her secret identity. She wouldn't want to end up getting dissected by some weird government agency. But if that happens to Natsuki, you know, it's fine, apparently. <laughs> uh, sorry, you didn't tell anyone that I know thigh speed, right? Nope! Kept it a secret, just like you asked! My lips are sealed, Monica! That's... that's good. Huh? But where's Yuri? She was right here a few minutes ago. Oh, there she is! Yuri had her eyes fixated on a book and was practically oblivious to everything going on around her. So, like normal. Um, Yuri? Your pride her eyes away from her book and then looked at Sayori Monica completely dazed. When she saw the two of them were looking at her, she hid the book she was reading from sight. What are you reading? Is that a nice book you're reading, Yuri? Uh, no. Yes, I mean, yes. But it's a horror book, and I'm not sure you'd be interested in it. Oh! Okay, I guess. Well, that was simple enough, but... Yes, then they were interrupted by a message on the speaker. Uh, all students are kindly requested to evacuate the school immediately. The voice was very shaky and sounded like the person was saying, saying it was about to wet himself. Can I redo that line? As a warning, all students should stay away from Sea Wing. I repeat, all students should stay away from Sea Wing and evacuate immediately. This is not a drill! Yeah, I think that that works. Sayuri, Yuri, you two should go! Monica had heard some strange noises via her super senses, and she just knew she had to investigate. Why does she have super senses? I thought she was a speedster! I'll catch up to you in a minute. Be quick, Monica! It was then that Monica decided to transform. All she had to do was focus, and... 
Ta-da! She took off her glasses to hide her secret identity and made a run for the hallway. What even is that thing? Looked like a giant snake as it saw Monica it hissed. Looks kind of like a dragon, but without legs. The back. Give me the back, human! I know the book is here! I can feel it! He had a weird raspy voice. Yeah, I, I managed to land that one. It hurt thigh speed's ears. Before Monica could do anything, though, a knife flew up from behind her and struck the monster in the tail. But it barely penetrated the monster's hide. Monica turned her head to see another girl squaring off with the monster, with a ring of knives floating around her. Oh, is that you, Miss Thigh Speed? Huh? Have we met before? Yeah, at the park. You rescued me, Rum. Girl stopped talking mid sentence. The monster took the opportunity to try and strike her, but her knives seemed to have mind of their own and deflected the attack. As the monster was off balance, Monica used her super speed to take the knife in its tail and put it in its mouth. Ooh. The snake was unable to cough it out, but the knife went inside its digestive tract. Well, that's unpleasant. It howled in pain. Curses! Forgive me, master, for I have failed you! It then disappeared in a flash of light. I'm glad. I don't think I can do that voice too much more. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me again, Miss Thigh Speed. Again? But when did we... Oh, you're Yuri, aren't you? Wow. You remember my name? Violet Rose turned back into her normal form. I think the monster left was after this book. I found it a few... I found it a few lying around a few days ago and it had a secret about unlocking your true powers. I started reading it and then I got the power to control knives. Of course that's the power she'd get. It also sort of changed my voice and my dress as well. Well, it didn't do much to your voice. I still sound the same. It's kind of dangerous to read a book like that, though. I just can't seem to take my eyes away from it, though. I know I should stop, but I keep going back to it. I can't seem to stop reading it. Yeah, you were reading it during club, too. And now you've given away your identity. Huh? How do you know that? Oops. Well, maybe I can trust you with one secret. Recognize me now? Monica, your thigh speed? Monica decided to change back into her school clothes. Yep, I think we should talk somewhere else, though. I can hear police sirens coming from somewhere. The police are probably about to be here, and we need to go and pretend to hide along with Sayori. Right. But we do need to look into that book of yours. Yeah. No, I, I like the comic book. Page. And that is the story of how Violet Rose, Lady of the Knife, and Thigh Speed, the fastest jokey alive, first learned of each other. They discussed what had happened with each other, and they learned more about each other's powers. But who was it that sent the monster after them? Where did the book that Yuri found come from? Tune in to our next thrilling installment to find out. And that's the end of that, well, that video. Now, unfortunately, I don't think he actually made another one of these. Um, I'm going to look and see if there is uh, a follow-up, but I don't think there was. I think I found all of them. 
If so, it's a little disappointing because I mean, I actually was enjoying this and would like to see where he was going to go with it. Um, but yeah, we'll have to I'll have to see if I can find any more. But uh, that's all I've got on this video. So until next time, thank you for being part of my geek world.